Yeah, be cool. I'm a hacker at heart. I like to go in and I like to uh, tinker with things, break things, see how things work. And I think that that is part of the appeal and why engineers are staying late to do this tonight. What we're doing tonight is doing a big crackathon. There'll probably be a men's cheering over there. They'll probably run over, check, hey, is something down? We're taking down some servers, this is what's going on. Really good guys. <laughs> we keep our service up and alive. It's kind of like a test bed for us as well as um, a penetration testing scenario. I think we'll see a lot of uh, creativity. Some of them have been putting together their battle plans for like a week. Basically we figure if the engineers that designed the platform uh, can attack it and our ops team can look at those vectors and improve the performance of SML, that it will make it rugged enough to be used for real world use. We've actually uh, dubbed this a crackathon because uh, it's a security focused hackathon. But we're sitting here, we're coding, we're just taking, we're having a good time, listening to some music, eating some pizza, having some beer. On our side in ops, we're working to minimize downtime. So we're expecting to entertain the developers for three to four hours, which means we have to ensure that the servers are up. They have something to actually attack. The goal of the evening is really to, uh, to see where the vulnerabilities lie and for us to then go in and fix those vulnerabilities. From their perspective, they're working on achieving the most sophisticated hack, if you will. We're going to be judging the different exploits that we see today or the different vulnerabilities that we may see, and we want to find the slickest ones, not necessarily the ones that were the fastest. We haven't been able to find an attack yet that exposes any data we weren't meant to, we weren't meant to see. We're really learning. I mean, some of the stuff that we've seen is stuff we knew. Other things, you know, we're still seeing. They're grouping up. I think they're refocusing their efforts on trying more complicated attacks. They've seen what they can do. And every time they take one of our servers down, we ring the bell. Our systems are more robust yes. than, than what we had previously thought. This is as much fun as we really thought it would be. I can't let Ops sleep. Oh, oh yeah. It's got to be. It, it, OK, so you can see right here that Josh is actually trying to resource our data. Dead now too. <laughs> 100%. Yes. Oh, this guy right here. <laughs> this is a little bit of goodness. Okay. Okay. This is restart. This is awesome. Dang. That was a good one. They came up with a pretty good one. Though. It died the same screaming death as everything else, but it just came back quicker. Well, I think we all were happily surprised that we ended up with no data loss and no data theft. They were unable to bring down one of our servers at all. Anything they tried, just couldn't do anything. Uh, so in many ways, maybe it was the winner. We know that people can always do something that will incur some downtime for you. Um, but if the data is still there and nobody's had a chance to look at anything they shouldn't look at, um, I think that's a success for us. The final tally, I think we ended up finding a couple different bugs, a couple different security holes. Uh, that's you know great. That was the the goal of this uh, this entire exercise. Uh, we're now going through and uh, and patching some of them up. But I think that uh, it was a, a good experience for everybody involved.